This is Jeff Kerr of the Philadelphia Eagles on 24-7 Sports. Eagles fans waited a long time, well, not necessarily long, for Brian Dawkins to make the Hall of Fame. He did get in on his second year of eligibility, but Dawkins was not the first Hall of Fame snub in the Eagles franchise history. In fact, the Eagles have a lot of them, but these three guys should definitely be in Canton. Eric Allen is the first Eagle that comes to mind that should be in the Hall of Fame. Allen finished with 54 interceptions in his career, and he's one of six players all time with at least 50 interceptions and eight of which that have been returned for touchdowns. Allen is the only player not in the Hall of Fame amongst cornerbacks with those numbers. He also tied the Eagles franchise record with 34 interceptions. Seth Joyner is another one that should be in the Hall of Fame. Joyner is the only player in NFL history with 50 sacks and 20 interceptions, having 52 sacks and 24 interceptions in his career. Joyner also had 26 forced fumbles in his 13 years in the league. We also have to remember, Joyner played in a 4-3 defense as a linebacker. He wasn't an edge rusher. He should be in the Hall of Fame. And finally, Al Wister. Most Eagles fans have never heard of Al Wister, but that doesn't mean he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Wister was the best lineman on the Eagles 1948 and 1949 championship teams. He was a four-time All-Pro and a member of the 1940s All-Decade team. I don't know why Wister was overlooked. That was a great Eagles team and one of the great dynasties in the NFL. Wister should be in. This is Jeff Kerr of the Philadelphia Eagles on 24-7 Sports.